what is going on guys this is the SS ultimate Goku back with another video and uh, we're back yeah we are back um, yeah how you doing not good how you doing not good okay. three and four you know hey it's just what the doctor ordered <sighs> we lost the skins or commanders or commies whatever <laughs> Man, I'm not Remember, I would have been up on, on you by five points if I actually went through with it when I said out loud, Hey man, they might lose and you might have to burn all your gear. Instead, you just showed up with more gear, which just makes you look mentally unstable. Hey, you know what? Just like how you went, like, <clears throat> like Bills went 20 years without making a playoffs. You're right, we did, but I, I can always, own up to that. I stay with my team, thick and thin. Good times and bad. We had um, two losing seasons before we got LaFell. LaFleur. Uh, LaFleur. And, you know, I still stuck with them. I always stick with my team. I've been, you got, I've they been, need a receiver! Yeah, well, we know that already. <laughs> uh, I've been a Packers fan, obviously, pretty much since I was we'll a get wee the, little We'll get kid. to the Packers in a little bit. So we are, we are approximately... I always stick to my team. We so are approximately 13 games away from the Packers right now, before we even talk about them. So yeah, let's well, let's jump on the on on the Thursday night game first. All right, stay loyal to your team. That's all I have to say. Okay, so the first game is the uh, th oh, it's tom tomorrow's to recording this tonight. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 8:15 kickoff, NFL or it's or it's prime. It's uh, the Prime streaming service. Could you guess who's the favorite in this one? The Ravens. It's got to be the Ravens. No. Tampa Bay is a one and a half point favorite. Well, it's at least still only one. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, well, despite the fact that the uh, Carolina Panthers somehow beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, after a 75 yard touchdown uh, pass that was dropped by Evans that pretty much sunk the team. That wouldn't have won. They, wouldn't, they, they still would have lost by. But yeah, but I, I think if they would have gotten that, though, I think the momentum would have been different. I think that really kind of busted their whole momentum, their whole psyche after that. I, I don't know. You never know. <clears throat> One play can change things, and I think that really just sunk them after that. Um, I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. But uh, but nonetheless, they lost. Referee possibly paid them off. Yes, I know they said that it was a golf lesson, but I, I feel like that's a little suspect. They said I didn't hear golf lesson at all. I just heard they were exchanging phone numbers. Well, that's what they said. It was for a golf lesson. I, I guess. It could have been. But I don't know. A lot of these guys are former golf pros. To be totally fair, it's a ret it's a retiree job. Yeah, but you know, yeah. to be Excuse fair, me. to be fair, also if they had won the game, we would have made more of a big deal than it was. Okay. Listen, there's a lot of shit you don't hear on the sidelines that just so happens to be somebody had a phone in the in the, in the tunnel. If yeah. we're being fair, but anyway, who do you got? Get, um, I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens. I think the Buccaneers are just—they're going to be on a, a tough. They're going to have a tough slump, and they are slumping really fast uh, unless Brady gets something going. Um, and uh, and of course, obviously, you can't miss big passes to Brady like Evans did because that just psychs him out. Um, I, I'm going with the Ravens. I think it's going to be. Uh, uh, 24 to uh, 10. Um, so the big issue here is uh, there, there's two sides to every story. The Bucks barely barely lost to the Packers. But we've seen how the Packers have played. Uh, then they almost beat the Chiefs on prime time. Um... They have not played well against bad teams during the day. But when you give Tom Brady the bright, bright lights, you're, you're a big fan of uh, Dallas at this moment. I know you're going to say it was Cooper Rush, but what are they, 5-1? and one? Oh, the Cowboys? Yeah, what are yeah. they currently? Five, five, okay, 5-2. Five and two, And one of those two losses was against Tom Brady on primetime. The other Tom Brady primetime game, he hung his best stats of the year. I don't want to actively ever choose the Buccaneers. I don't trust the Buccaneers, but I also don't trust the Ravens. The Ravens have found a way to choke away close games, and the only reason they didn't last week is because of a false start. I'm going to say the Bucs win. It is a atrociously boring game. It's Poor going prime to be, again. It's going to be 16 to 13 final. Buccaneers. Al and Mike, it's literally going to be all touchdown from Tampa again. Al Mike, because you're going to have to improv. 
Beth, so you got the Ravens, I got the Bucks. We'll split these these games a little more here now. Um, all right. So next we have Jolly Old England, London Gam. Uh, never again. We got. I wasn't sure if this was actually a London game or not because I know they had to. Ger- well, I know they had to Germany soon too. Well, yeah, but this, this, is, this is this is a this is a Wembley. They're in Wembley because Jacksonville. Um, yeah, but I don't think it's got anything to do with Jacksonville. No, they they have like a contract. They they send one. Yes, but it's Wembley. not. That's this, why it's I don't. AFC. It's not the stadium though. Yeah, usually, it's, usually, usually Jacksonville plays in Tony Con- or in Shad Khan Stadium, and it's in Wembley this year, which is I don't believe it's Shad Khan Stadium. That's okay. all I'm saying. I don't think it's in the normal stadium. Yeah. Well, maybe they had renovations. I don't know. <laughs> um. Anyways, so. <clears throat> Broncos and uh, Jaguars. Um, who's the favorite in this? I'm assuming Jacksonville. Uh, should be. Let me. It is Jacksonville two and a half points. Um. Yeah. I'm. Hey, it's okay. Russ Wilson's gonna play. He was doing high knees the entire eight hour flight as people slept on the flight today. Yeah. I would kill him if he was my teammate. We have an eight-hour flight to London. Sit your dumb ass down and stop doing high knees if we're trying to sleep. True. Nonetheless, um, I'm going to go with Jacksonville Jaguars. Denver suck. Russell Wilson sucks. Uh, hasn't proven anything to do anything differently. Uh, he didn't. Uh, he obviously didn't start last week, but um, he hasn't really seemed to do anything even before that. So. I'm going to say Jacksonville wins. Uh, I'm going to give them a 17-6 to uh, six victory. Listen, Denver looked better last week without Russ Wilson. Jerry Judy looked like the answer. However, I have been very beneficial and benefactory towards the Giants being a good team. I think the only reason that you saw... Yeah, we get it. You've got a punk hat on. Congratulations. The only reason that you saw the Jacksonville Jaguars lose was because I think the Giants are a good football team. I think they're a well-coached football team. Um, but I truthfully believe that the Jag will, the Jags will smoke them in this game. You're just being obnoxious to yourself at this point. The Jags are going to win 27-13. to 13. Okay. What, what are you doing that because of the Jags or Tony Khan's team? I don't, I don't really understand what you're trying to do on that. I have no idea, but I just felt like doing it. Anyways, nonetheless, let's go. Miami Dolphins versus the Detroit Lions. Uh, Miami's a three. And Miami's three point half favorite. favorite, I believe. Yes. Anyways, so nonetheless, uh, what do you think of uh, Tua last week? Yeah, he should be thankful that he won a game. He didn't learn anything. He slid headfirst in in the second quarter, which was the dumbest move you could have made. Uh, he. Not only made some horrendous throws, should have had th- should have thrown seven interceptions on the game. They were all dropped by Pittsburgh, but this dude in crunch time with two minutes and thirty two seconds on the clock decides, hey, I can take a sack and keep the clock running. We're gonna have to punch anyways, and throws it on third down. <laughs> that is football one oh one to a turn the ball over, <laughs> dumbass. I don't trust him. I don't trust the Dolphins. The Dolphins got lucky that the Pittsburgh Steelers are equally bad. Can he pick it? Yes, he can. He will throw an interception. Oh, by the way, he's in an elite class with Ryan Leaf. First four games, uh, two touchdowns, seven interceptions. I don't want to talk about him right now because he so cost me Jaguar, He cost know. me another $250 on Sunday night. I was two, yeah, I seen your tweet on two that. yards away from $250 on, th- on Sunday night. Two! And the refs overturned a catch! I won it! Twice! Over! I'm going with the Detroit Lions here. I think them stumbling last week was was more of a fluke. I think they're a good football team. I don't think the Dolphins are a good football team. Detroit wins this one 23-10. I'm going to say the Dolphins win. Um... I don't trust the Lions. Uh, they're kind of inconsistent. Dolphins... Uh, sucked last week and won, but I think they're they're not. I don't think that's going to be an indication of what happens now, uh, with you know a full week of practice. Now I think my gonna... my biggest concern with you with with you saying that Detroit is one and five. They were what one and one before before, before the all the injuries before before all the injuries. 
Well, the Patriots was the but, first time where they lost. But before all the injuries, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's... You're, you're, you should have had a monitor St. Brown back last week, which, because of the Tua rule, you lost him for a whole game. Mm-hmm. He's not concussed at all. Well, supposedly. No, he's not. They took well, him into... Well, they claimed that he also had a, for a one concussion, and he didn't actually have the second concussion, which I don't know. No, no, no. A Monra, the receiver from the, from the Lions, they took him out of the game last week on, the, on his first catch because they said he exhibited signs of wobble leg oh, like you're talking Tua. Oh, Lion receiver, okay. Like Tua did. That was all that they took him out for. They, they, they removed him from the game. They put him in protocol. He cleared protocol the second the game was over. He was not concussed. Okay. Dan Campbell said that in the press conference. So you get him back healthy, and you should get DeAndre Swift finally. You have two of your more talented receivers, or two of your more talented offensive players there. I just I think Detroit's got a lot more talent than they've been able to show in the last four weeks. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. They don't really show it all always, though. That's because the they haven't problem. had them. The it's, first two weeks they hung. Well, yeah, but even when they're in the games, the they, first, just the feel first like three weeks, not there. The, the only three weeks they've had all, those two players, they hung over thirty points every game. All right, they did. Uh, I, I, I think the Dolphins are going to win. I think it's going to be twenty. I think it's going to be uh, twenty-three to seventeen. I got the Dolphins winning this week one, two, and three before all the all the injuries. Thirty-six points, twenty-four points, forty-five points. Since all the injuries. Zero and six. That's that's it, man. It's it, the injuries have kicked their ass. I'm sorry, 35, yeah. 35, 35. 36. 35, 36, 24. So the low C being 24 against Minnesota, which they almost won that game too. I'm just telling you, I think a healthy D- Detroit team is a very capable team. You went Miami, I went Detroit. Uh, next, uh, Carolina Panthers at the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, and are the Pan- Panthers are the favorites? Right? No, Atlanta's a four and a half point favorite. Oh, uh, they never gonna give them credit now, even with the Buccaneers' loss. Lo- uh. Oh, I I think the Bucks win was more of the Bucks losing than it was Carolina winning. PJ Walker looked good. Don't don't get well, me wrong. Well, but you gotta agree though. The NFC South is basically wide open now. Yeah. Because the Bucks are like shit, and all these other teams yeah. are basically rebuilding teams. And Atlanta's in second, at three and four. So the Panther, but that's and, the thing. My point is, Panthers could still so can New Orleans. Realistically, be, yeah, New, New Orleans, Orleans, New Orleans and Carolina are both two and five. Atlanta and Tampa are both three and four. Yeah, I'm going with Atlanta here. I still don't have respect for the Panthers. I like PJ Walker. You know, I, I even like Chuba Hubbard, but we don't know if he's healthy. He did sprain his ankle. Um, they didn't say. They said it wasn't a high ankle, which is a good sign. But I think Atlanta's starting to get the ball rolling. The biggest issue is Atlanta has clearly sold up the river. They don't trust Marcus Mariota. Because when you're letting a guy throw less than 15 times a game, you don't trust him. I'm going to say Atlanta. It's going to be a boring game. It's going to be 16 to 10 final. You're going to go with the Panthers. No, I'm actually going with the Falcons. I think it's going to be a one-point game, though. I got it being 17-16. Falcons, they miss an extra point. You mean the Panthers miss an extra point? Panthers miss an extra point. Okay. Well, we're both going Atlanta. Next game. Um, Arizona Cardinals at the Minnesota Vikings. Who's the favorite? Who do you think? Please tell me it's the Cardinals. It's the Vikings by three and a half points. I think what plays into that, though, Minnesota's at home, too. Yeah. Well, they don't have home field advantage, though. Yes, they do. This is a dome. It's a dome. It's the noise factor. Well, yeah. It's the same that, factor that you mean, put in when you go to to Seattle. I'm talking about like when they had snow back in the day. Mm, I mean, it's still October. You probably wouldn't have snow this weekend anyways. Regardless, Minnesota is also 5-1. and one. Arizona's 3-4. and four. Frank, who do you got? I'm picking the Arizona Cardinals um, mainly because I just want the Vikings to lose, but also I do think the Cardinals, you know, obviously they're kind of on and off, but they still have explosion, explosiveness. Diarrhea. Thing. No explosive. They got their quarterback. I mean, the quarterback, you know, he runs and freaking he does really good, like, when he gets, you know, going with that. And I think he'll do better. I think he'll do better. And the Vikings have been kind of, you know, they've been kind of inconsistent, even though they're winning. You know, I mean, they don't really have a good quarterback. I mean, I don't think Cousins is a franchise quarterback. And, you know, they, they have to rely on Cook and Jeff, uh, Jefferson um, to win. So I don't. I eventually think that's gonna collapse on them at some point. Um, so yeah, I think Cardinals win. Uh, I'm gonna give it uh, 
30 to 20. Cardinals. It's Minnesota. God damn it. Arizona, you're screwed. The new Call of Duty just came out. Kyler's for sure not paying attention. You just gave him an, an additional amount of time to hang out and play it. He's binged it already. He's not watching any tape. I know that they had an extended period of rest, but so did Minnesota. Minnesota's coming off a of bye week. They Kirk just, Cousins they at least... Gloom. They just got to gloom to the seat <laughs> so we can watch it. That, that, that's not going to happen. They're going to gloom to the seat. He's going to find a way to get a friend and bring him a PlayStation. Uh, Minnesota's going to win this one. It's going to be an awful game. 24-21 to 21 Vikings. What did you say? It was 24-21. Okay, interesting. Okay. Um, next we have the Chicago Bears at the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas yeah, Bears. They beat the Pats. Well, they beat up on the Pats. Yeah, they had a lot the of The ESPN Skycam beat the Pats. Did you see that? No, I didn't watch the Monday night game. No, it's all over Twitter. Oh. The interception that Mac Jones threw that got him pulled hit the Skycam oh. cable and redirected. Oh, I did not see that. He he was that. trying to throw it away, and I did it, I did, it, I did it, see the uh, where he slid and he hit the guy in the it, balls. It hit. <laughs> I did see that. Uh, where is it? That I didn't see. That was on NFL memes. Where is it? Where is it? Um... Oh, he's throwing it away, and it hits there, and instead of going out, redirects down. Look at it. So it's should, coming over. Shouldn't and it goes, that be a redo, though? The nobody whole? saw it at, the, at that time. Oh. Supposedly nobody saw it at that time. Nobody saw it in live no, action. There was no someone replay? Sl someone slowed it down. You can actually, it hits there and redirects the opposite direction. Interesting. I feel like that, that well, I mean, if they didn't see it at the time, <clears> then obviously they couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, that's uh... anyhow. The Bears beat the the or the Bears beat the uh, Patriots. It's the first game all year. Justin Fields is looked good in. Yeah, we lost on that too. We both did. We yes. Did yeah. I wasn't gonna pick the Bears to beat the Patriots. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, but now they are the nine and a half point dog. The Cowboys are a nine and a half point favorite here, and they don't have Rush starting. They got Prescott starting, so and they won with Prescott last week. Yeah, I know. What did they? Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they, they okay, yeah, no, that's right. That, that game screwed me. Uh, I have been the biggest Cowboys hater all year. The Cowboys won this game, like, 23-10. to 10. I don't trust the Bears to do anything against that defense. Uh, I don't trust them to do anything in any game. So for the most part of the rest of the year, unless Justin Fields starts to get red hot, I'm going to continue to have them as the underdog. How about you, Frank? I'm going to have the Cowboys win here. Um, I'm going to give it a... Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be 30 to uh, 17. Uh, I don't think the Bears are going to be good enough to beat the Cowboys. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, so you got to tell us what's next. Oh, yeah. Oakland Raiders versus no. the uh, Las Vegas Raiders were at the uh, New Orleans Saints. Who do you think is the favorite? Uh, probably the Saints. Las Vegas Raiders. Of course. Two-point favorite. Um, well, I'm going with the upset. I think the Saints win. Um, Raiders are inconsistent, um, and uh, they seem to always beat themselves because they always lose by like a couple of points. Um, so I'm gonna say the Saints win. I'm gonna say it's 23-20. Feel well. I need to do some homework here real quick. This is what I need to do. Um, yeah. So it's it's a 50-50 chance here, and what I mean when I say that. Um, Neither of these teams are good or bad against the running backs. They're both in that, like, 12 to 18 range. So they're both, like, you can kick our ass in the run, but we can also stop you really well. That being said, as good of a player as Elvin Kamara is, Josh Jacobs has been red hot. Josh Jacobs is the reason that Devonta Adam and Derek Carr are finally getting together. The Raiders win their second straight. The Saints continue to be mediocre, especially if Andy Dalton's playing, which I believe they announced today he is. What is um, going on with it? Winston? Is he like not yeah, starting Andy, at all? Andy Dalton's he's not in? necessarily losing games. Like, but is he like, like is he actually injured? He was or? hurt. He was originally hurt, and then he supposedly was healthy, but now he's not. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Don't matter. Bills by a billion. Sorry, wrong game. Doesn't matter. 
Las Vegas Raiders, uh, 27, Saints, 17. Pittsburgh Steelers at the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles are obviously the favorites. Ten-point favorite. Um, and uh, they should be. Uh, Kenny Pickett, uh, thanks, Shaw. Yes, he can. No. God. No, no, no. Kenny Pickett, yes, he can. What do you mean? That's what they ask everybody in, on Philly's defense that week. Can he pick it? Yes, he can. Get it? Like like Bob the Builder, can he fix it? Yes, he can. Can he pick it? Yes, he can. It's funny, Frank. You gotta laugh. I'm well, laughing now. Uh, can he pick it? Yes, he can. Uh, are going to get their ass handed to them. Uh, Kenny Pickett, as I said, thanks to the Jacksonville 2 uh, YouTuber who pointed this out, um, he is an elite class with mediocre quarterbacks and Ryan Leaf. In the first four games of his career, he has only got two touchdown passes, seven interceptions, which is terrible to be in the class of Ryan Leaf. Um, so, yeah, Philadelphia wins this game. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna say it's 34 to nothing. I'm I don't think going. the I don't think the Steelers are gonna score a point. I'm going up game. in both directions. 38 to seven. Have some dignity. 38 to seven, Philadelphia. My uh, my friends from the Philadelphia are gonna continue to make that city burn even further. You know what? People give Buffalo a bad rap. But Philadelphia made it to the World Series and almost burned the series down or city down, and they haven't won anything. Well, the, the Eagles also laughed at uh, Santa Claus. Yeah, I mean, they are boot Santa Claus, so I mean, <laughs> Philly fans are assholes. <laughs> I like them. We get along, but they are assholes. I was the Philadelphia Flyers mascot for Halloween. Oh wow, it was great. <laughs> that was actually my costume. Yeah. All right. Uh, Patriots at the New York Jets. The Patriots are the favorite. And who is the starter? Mac Jones. Oh, I thought they were going to... Uh, no, they announced Mac, Mac Jones. They announced say Mac Jones. Mac Jones took 90% of first team reps with the first team today. Hmm. Mac Jones is... I think they realized after review that he probably would have been 3 of 6, put no interception, throwing the ball away, and it hit the, the line. I, I like both quarterbacks. I don't have a dog in the race. But... You're unfairly pulling Mac Jones for no reason. Well, a lot of people, you know, obviously with Bill Belichick, it's easy to forget that he kind of has been like this. I mean, it's been 20 years of having Tom Brady that he didn't need to do this, but before Tom Brady and before Drew Bledsoe, when he was in the Cleveland Browns, he used to switch quarterbacks all the time. Uh, I mean, he got rid of Bernie Kosar, who actually got them to the AFC Championship game a couple of times. Um, so this is actually something Bill Belichick is actually known for doing. It's just not many people are used to it because he had Tom Brady for so long. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what he does with Mac Jones, you know, because it is a first round pick and he does have potential with uh, Zappy right now or Zapdos. I have they call so him. many questions. So, um, but uh, nonetheless, I. Th Think. I mean, the Jets are the favorites, right? No, I just said the Patriots oh, well, are yep, two-point favorite. Sorry. Patriots two-point favorites. Um, <sighs> it's a tough call. No, it's not. Just say it. I'm not gonna laugh at you this time. Jets, just say Jets it. Jets win by a lot. By a lot. I'm not laughing at you at all. The Jets, the Jets, and the Bills fans can hate me, belittle me, say whatever they want. The Jets need to be respected. The Jets have been a very good team this year, and the defense is gonna be tough. Um, you've got a team of young quarterbacks who already have not thrown the ball well. Yeah. You've got a player in Sauce Gardner who is phenomenal. What's what score do you think for the Jets? I got it um, twenty one to seventeen. I wanted to go a little over the top here. I was going to say that the Jets break thirty, but they did lose Brees Hall for the year. Um, I'm gonna say the Jets win 27 to seven. 20, 24 to seven. Okay. Mac, uh, Zach Wilson finally has a day. He throws three touchdowns. Tennessee. Tu oh, actually, wait. This is four. Oh, now we're at the we four, the four o'clock. Uh, Tennessee Titans at the Houston Texans. Tennessee are probably a two point favorite. Two point favorite. 
Um, I think the Titans win. Houston, I mean, again, they're playing for rebuilding. Houston, so Houston had a decent game last week. I don't know. I think Tennessee wins. I think Houston, Houston there's no odds for Houston. I mean, they might win a game here and there, but it's not going to be one of those things where it's like you want to really pick them because you know they're at that type of stage where they're not going to be good this year. They're a rebuilding team. They're going to show flashes here and there, but they're playing for next year. They're playing for whenever they get whatever their quarterback will be next year in the draft. Uh, I'm thinking the Tennessee Titans win 20-7. Uh, uh, You're going with Houston, aren't you? Houston Texans mount up, baby. Davis Mills just threw three touchdowns. Their young running back, Damian Pierce, is like a younger version of Derrick Henry. And the Titans don't have a quarterback. Yeah, right. Ryan, oh, Tan Ryan was... Tannehill threw for 106 yards last week. Ryan Tannehill has done nothing all season. Ryan Tannehill... The fact of it being Ryan Tannehill's falling apart would be more news if Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady didn't look like such trash this year. Well, Ryan Tannehill would be the news, but the two old guys came back. He's older now, too. But that's what I'm saying. The two old he guys came waste, back. He had all those wasted dolphin years. The two old guys came back and didn't do anything. He's not even that old because he's still younger than Russ. Well, yeah, but I'm saying he had all those dolphin years and he didn't really do anything. I believe it was the 2014 draft, so he's eight years in the league. It was only four years in Miami. I thought it was longer than that. No, I, I, okay, if anything, they extended him uh, for a small deal and they traded a mid-deal. Hmm. But still, I don't trust Ryan Tannehill. I'm going with Houston in the upset. It's going to be 19 to nineteen to 12. All right. Uh, New York Giants at the Seattle Seahawks. Giants favorite? Seahawks are the favorite. Three-point favorite. I think that's, again, the home field advantage. They're in Seattle. 12th man. Um, what do you think, Giants? I'm riding the Giants, baby. The Giants have been good in all facets. You're, you're looking smart. Saquon's been great. I don't trust... I still... I, in a battle of who I trust less, given the options of Geno Smith and Daniel Jones, I'm picking Daniel Jones that I trust him ten times more than I'm ever going to trust Geno Smith. Uh, Giants, Giants 21, Seahawks 19. It's going to be another very close game. I'm also taking the Giants, unfortunately. I think the Giants will win 27 to uh, 20. San Francisco 49ers and no, Los Angeles. No. Oh, uh, you're going with Washington Commanders? That's the next one. Uh, next we have the Washington Commanders at the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, the Colts are a three-point favorite. And Sam I, Ellinger is their quarterback. Oh, yeah, that's right. Man, Ryan's not playing enough. Um, but... Um, as bad as my Packers played against the, the, the commies here, um, it proved one thing that I've been saying all year, and I've been saying this to many people, uh, Heineke is the better quarterback on their team. He, they did not need Walt Wentz, they have their quarterback, and he showed strides last week, he showed what he can do, he's a far better quarterback than Carson Wentz, and hopefully when he comes back, they decide they're going with him the rest of the way because he is their he is the quarterback they should have been playing all year. Uh, I'm going with unfortunately the commies to win because they got Heineke in there. I wish they was not in there. I wish Wentz had been playing against the Packers. I think we would have beaten them had the had he been playing. I think uh, they're gonna win uh, thirty to uh, uh, six. I think the uh, Heineke gets it done for the Commanders. You and your delusional Carson Wentz hate. I think he's a good do, quarterback. You do realize that Carson Wentz has statistically had a better day all but two games this year than Heineke had last week, right? Heineke, was, that was his first game all year. But what I'm saying is, statistically, he had two games this year that he would have had lesser stats than what Heineke had last week. That's it. And one of those two being the game he got hurt against Chicago on Thursday night. 
Yeah, but he's playing. He's getting the first downs. He's getting the things that he needed to do to win. Regardless, that game. I don't care who's a quarterback. I don't care if it's Sam Howell, Taylor Heineke, Carson Wentz, Frank Letario the third. I'm taking the Commanders. The Colts are booty cheeks. Uh, Thirteen to seven, Commanders. Ugly game. All right, now we have the San Francisco 49ers at the uh, L.A. Rams. Um, is the Rams the favorites? The Niners are the favorites. Um, uh, how, how, what's it at? One and a half point favorite to the Jeez. Niners. Ugh, this is a tough one. Go either way. The Niners, who are now entering a what could be a third, a three-game skid. Although they already did play the Rams on a Monday night in week four. So only four weeks ago they played the Rams, and they beat them. What are you thinking? I'm going to go with the Rams in the revenge game. Um, Niners, I, I mean, I know that they have Christian McCaffrey now, but, like, the Rams are one of the better teams in the league against the run. You're not going to beat them that way. If you think you're going to win solely off passing the ball to Christian McCaffrey, you're still not going to win that way. Someone still has to line up and check Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel. And Debo didn't practice today. I'm going to go with the Rams. I don't want to go with the Rams. It's going to be like 17-10. to 10. It's an ugly game. This is a tough decision. I'm going to toss it up. I'm going to also say the Rams. I'm going to say it's an ugly game as well. I'm just going to say it's 13-10. Um, Rams win by a field goal. <clears throat> that, just, yeah, I mean, we don't have much faith that it's more than a one-score game. So Yeah. Sunday <sighs> night football. I'll be at this game, and all I gotta say is, all I gotta say is, woo! We are gonna take the Bills down. We are gonna beat. If you this. break my ceiling, fan. Woo! 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 We are beating them down. We are beating them down. Woo! The Green Bay Packers get it done. We're getting back in the stride. We are limousine drive, jet fly, wheeling, kneeling, son of a gun. We win 32 20. Let's go. Woo! My eardrum is shattered, and you missed 80% of that promo. <laughs> the problem is that you're not accounting for. See, the problem here, Smojo, is when you add me, you, and Kurt Angle to the three-way on Sunday night at Ralph Wilson Stadium, the Bills have a 143 and two-thirds percent chance, and I know I got the number wrong because we're going higher than 133 and two-thirds percent chance of beating the shitty, ugly, baby shit green wearing Green Bay Packers on Sunday night. Aaron Rodgers is going to get the man bun knocked off his head. The receivers aren't doing anything as this. Hmm. What has been one of the weaker points of the Bills' defense? Hmm. Defending receivers. Well, so you're telling me we just have to check uh, some running backs. Okay, cool. You have very good running backs. We can focus in on that. We can focus. Got it. We got we got our receivers. They're coming. We got the run. We're going to run the ball for once, finally. We're going to get the truck. The truck Dylan is coming. We got to hammer it you down. You do know Buffalo is like third in the league against the running backs, right? It's coming down, dude. You're thirty to twenty. Are, I, I love that for you that you're just this delusional. We're coming to the game. I love We're how, coming I to love win. how delusional you are. Come, I cannot. First wait. time we I beat Buffalo wait. ever in Buffalo. I cannot wait until you ride your bike with two flat tires to my house on Monday for Halloween because you're so sad from the night before. The Bills win 30, 35 to thirteen. I will give you two touchdowns. One missed field goal. The Orchard Park win's gonna be a mess. 35 to 13. Packers are winning. We're getting the Packers Mafia through the table. It's coming. It's gonna be limousine. Woo! And you already said it. And you said it wrong again. Just on to Limousine Monday, riding, jet flying, wheeling, dealing, son of a gun. Woo! You're missing a whole part of it. Just go to Monday night, please. All right, next uh, is the boring Monday night game that we won't be watching. Gary's going to walk upstairs and beat the shit out of you. <laughs>
Uh, Cincinnati Bengals at, at the Cleveland Browns on Halloween, Monday night. Uh, Browns favoring them. Or no, Bengals. Bengals are a three and a half point favorite. Um, I'm going to say the Bengals win. Uh, I'm going to give it a 21 to uh, 7 victory. I don't see any faith in the Browns. Um, you know, I don't know. For, for a team Chubbs. that started out 0 and 2. If Chubbs is about it. And then had to beat a very good Jets team 27 to 12. And then beat a Dolphins team that everybody said was untouchable. And then lost to a Ravens team that they should have never lost to. And then they've gone around to score 30 points the last two weeks. The Browns don't stand a chance. We're going with the high score of the week here. The Bengals score 42. The Browns score 10. So you're giving 42 to 10? 42 to 10. Oh, jeez. Joe Burrow threw for almost 500 yards in the f and almost 300 of them was in the first half last week. Joe Burrow is hitting Joe Burr level. He's getting cold. He's icy. Joe Burrow got it. Heard. Oh. Anything else? No, that's you the last drop one. some more elbows on my floor. Uh no, I mean that's uh, my wife would kick else? your ass. <laughs> um, that I mean that's uh, that was all the games. Um, but yeah, make sure to subscribe. For all this, the contents, uh, if you're on the website, you know, click back and subscribe. Uh, bell for all the latest contents. Um, you have your um, sponsor. Yeah, shout out to uh, Kyle at Chicken Dippin. Chicken underscore Dippin on Instagram or chickendippin.com. Use code 716 for 15% off your order. Shout out to a new show that's in the works. We're going to get spooky soon. Not a name of it, but we're going to get spooky soon. And uh, shout out to the Tiki Tribe Production Company. Because I said so. Yeah. That's about it. I am the S Ultimate Goku, and I'm out here. Peace. Peace.